The Italian battleship Dante Alighieri was designed by Rear Admiral Engineer Nardo Mastia, chief constructor of the Regium Marina. Based on the ideas of General um, Vittorio um, Camberti, who advocated a battleship with main guns of a single caliber and optimized for broadside fire. In addition, the ship's superstructure and funnels were to be, were to be kept to a minimum. The dreadnought was 158.4 meters or 519 feet 8 inches long at the waterline and 168.1 meters um, or 50 or 551 feet 6 inches overall. The ship had a beam of 26.6 meters and a draft of 8.8 .8 meters. The ship displays 19,552 tons, at, or long tons, or tons in general, at normal load, and 21,600 tons at deep load. Dante Algari had two rudders, one behind the other and a crew of 31 officers and 950 enlisted men. The ship was propelled by four propeller, um, propeller shafts driven by Parison steam turbines. Steam for the turbines was provided by 23 Birchland water tube boilers, seven of which burned oil and the, remain, and the remaining 16 burned a mixture of oil and coal. The boilers were wide and were widely separated in two compartments. Each had two funnels and the turbines were positioned between the two center turrets. Designed to reach a maximum speed of 23 knots uh, from 35,000 shaft horsepower, Dante Algari failed to reach this goal on her sea trials, making a maximum speed of only 22.83 knots. From 32,190 ship horsepower. The ship could store a maximum of 3,000 tons of coal and unknown and an unknown quantity of, of fuel oil. That gave her a range of 4,800 nautical miles at, tw at 10 knots and a 1,000 nautical mile um, range in at 22 knots Dante Algari had a couple wa had a complete waterline belt armor belt that had a maximum thickness of 254 millimeters or 10 inches in thickness the ship's armor deck was 32 millimeters or 1.5 inches thick the main turrets were protected by a maximum of 254 millimeters of armor, while the secondary turrets and the casemates had three, had 900 and or had 98 millimeters, 3.8 3.9 inches of armor. The conning tower had walls of um of 305 millimeters in thickness. Dante Algari's main armament consisted of a dozen uh, or 12 46 caliber 305 millimeter or 12 um, inch guns and four triple turrets positioned on the ship's center line. None of the turrets were super firing. While the later classes of the battleships and battle cruisers that was designed for the Imperial Russian Navy shared a turret layout of the Dante Algari, all surviving evidence shows that the Russians decided on this layout for their own reasons. Sources disagree regarding these guns, these guns' performance, but naval historian um, Guido or Gigo um, Dornili claims that they fired um, 452 kilogram or 996 pound armor piercing or AP projectiles at a range of at the rate of one round
per minute, and that they had a muzzle velocity of 840 meters per second, which gave a maximum range of 24,000 meters. The ship's secondary armament consisted of 20 50 caliber 120 millimeter 4.7 inch guns. Eight of these guns were fitted in two uh, in twin gun turrets abreast the forward and aft main gun turrets, while the remaining 12 guns were mounted in casemates on the sides of the hull. These guns could um, depress to 10 degrees and had a maximum elevation of, fi of plus 15. They had a range of fire of 6 shots, per or they had a rate of fire of 6 shots per minute. They could fire a 22.1 kilogram high explosive projectile with a muzzle velocity of 850 meters per second to a maximum distance of 12,000 yards. For a defense against torpedo boats, Dante Alguerre carried 13 50 caliber um, 76 millimeter 3 inch guns mounted on the turret tops. These guns had the same range of elevation as the secondary guns, although their rate of fire was higher at 10 rounds per minute. They fired a 6 kilogram or, or 13 pound a um, AP projectile with a muzzle velocity of 815 meters per second um, to a maximum distance of 10,000 yards. The ship was also fitted with three submerged 45 centimeter 17.7 inch torpedo tubes, one on each broadside and the third on the in the stern. Dante Alighieri was named after the medieval Italian um, poet. She was laid down at the naval shipyard in um, Charles Mander de Sabat on the 6th of June 1909. Launched on the 20th of August 1910 and completed on the 10th of January 1913. The ship was used to elevate, to evaluate at Curtis Floatplanes in 1913 and 1914 when Italy entered World War I. In May of 1915, Dante Alighieri was the flagship of the 1st Battle Squadron based at Toronto and remained with the squadron through 1916. For the rest of the war, the ship was assigned to the Southern um, Adric and Eon Seas and Eon Sea Forces under the command of Vice Admiral Paolo um, Thandi, um, Revel, or Paolo de Rebel. The ship was positioned to intercept any Austro-Hungarian ships based at Cairo if they sorted to attack the Allied ships bombarding at Dazio on the 2nd of October 1918. The Austro-Hungarians remained in harbor and Dante Alguerre did not fire her guns during the battle. King Victor Samuel entered um, Delgates uh to um Geno to the Genoa conference aboard Dante Alguerre in 1922 the ship was refitted in 1923 with a f with a tripod foremast and an a an aircraft flying off platform on the number 3 turret and her forward gun and, and her forward funnels were made taller to reduce uh, smoke interference with the bridge she tested a new fire control system in 1924 at, at ranges up to 26,000 meters. Her new tripod mast was not sturdy enough for the weight of the system, but it was judged to be successful and subsequently installed on the um, Conti D and the Conti D Cavour class battleships. That same year, the ship transported um, Berto Mussolini to um, Panamona, Sicily. The Italian um, economy had been weakened by fi by fighting in World War One, and by the late twenties, and by the late nineteen twenties, it could no longer afford to maintain a sizable fleet. As a result, Admiral um, Giovanni um, Secchi decided to scrap Dante Alighieri and the salvage battleship Leonardo da Vinci to reduce the naval budget. The ship was stricken on the 1st of July 1928 and was subsequently scrapped. Um, and that um, is sadly the entire video. 
or the entire thing in a nutshell. The Dante Alighieri, um, if you play her in um, World of Warships on either PC, console, or uh, mobile, she is a wonderful ship and a ship I highly recommend playing. But I, I am honestly sad to say that her history IRL, yeah, it, it, it was boring. It, it was boring. It, it is boring in many frames. One thing she does hold, though, is that she was the very first Dreadnought um, ship to ever be commissioned into the into the um, um, Regia Marina or the Italian Navy or the Imperial Italian Navy. But again, she doesn't hold much of a significance beyond that. Um, so, with that being said, if you guys haven't already, please do go hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you guys ring that notification bell. Um, if you guys have any questions, concerns, anything like that, feel free to leave those down in the description below. And with, or feel free to leave those down in the comments below. Sorry. <laughs> um, and with that being said, um, come join the Discord server. Link is, as always, in the description. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out.